Uh, there's a guy standing at the door during the Amidah. You know the halacha? Someone's in prayer, you're not allowed to walk in front of them, right? Mm -hmm. There's another story of Moshe Feinstein who treated that as a halachic wall. Someone says, why don't we walk past here? He's like, there's a wall. What, what wall? I can't walk through a wall. No, there's a guy davening there, right? Mm -hmm. It was like a wall. He's davening. You can't walk in front of him. That's that's why the way the Shulchan Har has, when you look in the Hochos Tefillah, basically says you shouldn't walk in front of someone. You know, it's, it's like a prohibition. That's a little bit inaccurate. When you look, let's say, in the Rambam's formulation, Rambam connects this and don't walk in front of another person davening with the halachas of, uh, for example, uh, finding a proper uh, mokum kavua, a set place for davening. Mokum kavua is not a right. It is not a privilege. What do I mean by that? Mokum kavua doesn't mean, oh, this is my mokum. Get out of my mokum. I always daven here. I, I have a right to this place more than anybody else and more than you, so get up. Or privilege. I paid for this seat, mm -hmm. so... I, I deserve it more than you. That's not what Mokum Kavua is about. Mokum Kavua means a person should try his best to always be in the same place when he davens. It's a responsibility. It's not a privilege. It's not a right. And then the Rambam says that you shouldn't, uh, shouldn't walk in front of the guy who's praying. Why? Because it'll, just, it'll interrupt him. That is, a person, one, one, the person who's davening should find a proper place to daven so he's not going to get distracted. And two, Others should not go and distract him if he's already put himself in a position to daven. However, and this is what comes up. Let's say there was a guy who, look, we saw a gentleman just came in through that door over there at the opposite side. That's the entrance. Someone's going to decide right now, oh, look, I could daven Marv. He's going to park himself right at the door for davening Marv. Does that mean now, and he's going to go 15 minutes, won't ask me, like some people around here do. Does that mean now that they're all stuck? The answer, I believe, is no. Yeah, he's not supposed to put himself there. It's his responsibility to find the proper place to daven. If, like Rav Moshe saw, if someone was davening properly, so we can't start using the area in front of him as a shortcut, let's say, to our own convenience, because he was in the right when he started. But if this ha how many times has this happened to you? Mm -hmm. I know of a shul where people just daven where they should not. There was, uh, you know. there, there was, there was one time that I was uh, davening in the shiva, mm -hmm. uh, and somebody came in late and like parked right behind me. So when I had to take three steps back, like I was already yeah. within his forum. Very wrong. Yeah. So yeah, you have to watch out what you're doing. But the point is someone can't monopolize space. He doesn't magically uh, prohibit the space. And by the way, Adam Oser Davar Sheno Shelo, right? What does that mean? Halachic principle. I cannot create a, a forbidden status on something that's not yours. Uh, that's not, that's yours. That's not mine. So what, what's an example the Gemara says? Uh, let's say, usually involving worship. Mm -hmm. If I were to worship something, that would make it into an idol and make it forbidden for use. So if I, this is my water bottle, if I start worshiping the god of water, and by the way, some there were pagans who did such a thing, so that would make this prohibited. But if this is your water, water bottle and I start worshiping it, even if I do the whole nine miles, I, I bow down to it and I sacrifice a chicken to it and I sprinkle the blood, I do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. This is not an idol because it is yours. Lahefech. If I dedicate this bottle of water to the temple, now it's forbidden for everybody to use because it belongs to the temple. But if it was your water bottle and I dedicate it to the temple, nothing has happened. So too, really, we could assume that if a person started davening the heter, where he was allowed to, so he's created an area of forbidden passage for others. But if it's not his right to do that there, someone can't just walk into this base better and say, I'm now going to daven right at the exit and block everybody. He, he should not be doing that, and there is no state of prohibition that then, I guess, falls upon this uh, area.